Hi guys, so I'm just at Mall of the Emirates, Dubai and uh, they have some really cool cars parked outside. So like this is the area where um, they park all the cars that are like, like sports cars, um, some of the nicer ones they display out at the front that people have. So I wanted to show you guys what it's like. This is the parking area or the valet area that you pull up to. As you can see, they have park, they have cars like all down the, up, down the side here. You've got a Rolls Royce over there. Um, I'm going to take you a little bit. So as you can see, these guys are getting into their car right now. And my car. <laughs> it's not parked here, that's for sure. Uh, you've got a couple of Range Rovers. You've got one over there. I'm just going to Emirates Mall. Like it looks like a Cosmo Vegas. Yeah, this is the Mall of the Emirates. So, oh, sorry. This is, uh, this is the Mall here. Mall of the Emirates. So I'll take you guys inside. You saw my dog on Snapchat. Keep it steady. Okay, cool. Keep it steady. Um, and uh, just pan it around. I'm really bad at knowing the names of cars. <laughs> but I'm going to take you closer up to them so you guys can see. As you can see, the guy's getting his roof off, ready to drive off. <laughs> uh, but this is like a normal site. Dubai is known for its, its crazy sports cars. If you're driving around, you'll see like a lot of these. You can see they've got some more of the, I think it's a Porsche over there. I'll take it a little bit closer. You guys can see. Hold on. over in the distance. I'm no car expert so I know but I feel like there are a lot of people that like cars that when they see these they'll know exactly what they are. There's also a Rolls Royce. Uh, thanks for sharing with followers, appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you for sharing the broadcast. It's no big, I know it's hot. Thanks A Train 1, Sangi 63, you guys are awesome. Um, I'm gonna take you guys this way. I'm gonna take you guys Bambadillo. Thank you. Got a BMW here. There's a Rolls Royce um, just, thanks Sandy, just over there. You guys can see the Rolls Royce. It's very expensive for me. Huh? Yeah, expensive for me too. And also, I was going to say to you guys that if you look at the cars over here, they have the number plates. The cars with the number plates uh, that have like less numbers. So, for example, you can see this car over here. The number plate is 62. The lower the number, the more expensive the number plate. And sometimes the number plate can be even more expensive than the car. I know for, a, I, I'm pretty sure that that number plate is more expensive than that car. Um, I can't see any Ferraris right now, but there was, oh look, there's a the guy in his, uh, over there. The Rolls here. So you can see the Rolls, um, the Rolls here has a four digit number plate, but the car next to it has a three digit number plate. Three digit number plates are very expensive. Two digit number plates are even more expensive. Um, so the lower the number plate is also like a status symbol. The shake has number one, and obviously the number one is the most expensive. Um, you've got another Rolls Royce over here with a four digit number plate. I got a Bentley Fresco. Bentley is very nice. Oops, sorry. So yeah, you can see that. Buy me one digit, digit number plate, thank you. <laughs> when are you gonna buy one? When I can afford one. But yeah, no, I think that's basically, I think they just charge, you don't have to buy it, you can just get a normal five digit, but the shake is number one. Um, and yeah, if you can afford it, you can you can buy it along with your car. Oh my God, the black one. Uh, Range Rover, I can't see any Ferraris. We've got a Porsche coming up now. But I want to show you guys um, the inside of the mall as well. So I'm going to show you guys the inside of the mall too. So I think our car is more expensive. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. I think they'd probably be around the same, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not a car expert. I just want to show anyone that likes cars, the cars that are outside, um, outside the mall. So one of those you gotta get four girls from friends for life <laughs> okay so this is the inside of them where you enter now it has a range of um, different shops but you've got all the main designer shops here like Giorgio Armani, Cartier, Michael Kors uh, up there you have Versace over there um, and you've got Chanel over there hello okay Oh my god, I look so tired today. So this is the 
the downstairs. Yeah, it's the food court. So um, these are like some of the restaurants that you can go. You can eat the restaurants here. Um, they have the supermarket, which is over there as well. And uh, yeah. Okay, so is it hot? It's um, it's quite hot here. Yeah, it's very humid. Nice, nice mall. Yeah, no, it's a really nice mall. They actually have a new luxury section upstairs as well. Spit on those people. No, I'll get in trouble. I'll probably get put in jail if I did that. The kid in the car. Thanks. Hi, Taylor. Hello. Thanks for sharing, guys. I appreciate that. Thanks, happy man. Um, you've got PF Chang's. Obviously, you've got that in the states. Thanks, I am silly. I live in Dubai. Yeah, I was. This is my like where I grew up. So when I moved here, there was nothing here. This did, didn't even exist. So as you can see, this is this mall is absolutely massive. Um, they've got a couple other restaurants here. They're just normal restaurants, you know. Uh, you got like I think they've got all different cuisines at the bottom. No, it's really nice. Um, it's a great place to live. Like I've never had any issues here. There's always something new that's happening. Have a great day. Gotta go. Thank you, Spectre PB, for joining. Thanks, Taylor Errol, for inviting followers. So, for anyone that's just joined, this is Mall of the Emirates. It's a mall in Dubai. Uh, they actually have had a new extension to the mall as well, so it goes quite a long way. Is it okay for women working? Yeah, it's completely fine. They're, 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 and it, there's loads of women that work here. It's not like any other place in the Middle East where it's quite discriminated. Like, there's not really much discrimination. Like, they're really like open to obviously tourism is a massive thing here, so they're a lot more open than the other um, other other Middle Eastern cities. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. Saludos from Mexico. Hello. Thanks. But yeah, it's still obviously it's still a new society. So there are things that there are like some of the laws and stuff is still sort of quite traditional. Um, so in some ways it's very forward, but in some ways it's still very backward. But like it's only 43 years old, so it's not as advanced as some of like Western societies. But there are a lot of cool things to do here. Like if you come for a visit, you come to stay. There's a lot of cool things that you can do. So it's a great holiday destination for sure. No, that's because there are a lot of uh, people. People here are Muslim, but it's not ne necessary for you, for you to wear a burqa. I'm. I don't. I never wear one, and I've never had one, and I've lived here for 20 years. Um, I've never got in trouble for anything that I've worn. So in that sense, it's quite a uh, quite a forward society. Like I live my life as normal, and I've never got in trouble. And I do the same things that I would do here that I would do anywhere else in the world, and I'm fine. Unless you're doing something extremely out of the ordinary, which I'm not, I'm not going against any rules, then you'll, you'll be fine. Like, there's nothing, like, you, you, it's, you can just live a normal life. The only reason people get in trouble is because they do things which are a little bit crazy or they're aggressive towards certain people, you know? Show us the cars. Ah, oh, yeah, the bay, you just missed, you just missed some really cool cars. Though, actually, today's cars were okay, they weren't that great. Um, <laughs> You can't smoke weed, no, that is forbidden, not allowed to do any drugs here. But they do have direct flights to LA, so if you wanted to smoke in LA, you could just take a direct flight with Emirates and go there. <laughs> I visited the Atlantis too, it's nice. Oh yeah, Atlantis is really nice, it's on the palm. Hi Dree Dree, meow. <laughs> so yeah, this is the mall. <laughs> I mean, the flight to LA is only like, 16 and a half hours direct, you'll be there in half a day. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sure you can occupy yourself here, you won't need to smoke. This is near the metro. Yep, they have a metro station, so you can get the metro from. Hi, Los Angeles. Hey, Dennis. You can take the metro from one end of Dubai to the other extremely cheaply. The taxis here are also very, very reasonable. They're not like London, which are extortionate prices. I'm going to take you up to the new section. This is a new section that they've built here. Um, I don't think I don't know if many people have shown shown this or not. 
as you can see it goes on all the way down all the way to the other end is it the biggest one in dubai no that's dubai mall dubai mall is the biggest one in dubai this is mall of the emirates i actually quite like this mall because it's smaller and i know it's a bit easier to get around and um, dubai mall you need a whole day and it can get a bit overwhelming you were there last week no way amazing <laughs> i look a mess right now so i'm like I'll do it. Okay, so I'm one, two, two floors up now. Uh, attention, to yeah, the attention to detail. Um, the decor is really nice. It's clean. It's AC, which is great for the summer because outside is so so hot. Hi from Hollywood. Hello, nice to see you. you were in Dubai last month. I bet it was so hot. 10:26 a.m. It's around nine. 30. I think my parking is going to run out soon, so I should probably go. But I want to show you guys a little bit more at the mall and the new section before I do go. Okay. So as you can see, look at this roof though, it's quite cool. It's all the way down there. So this is the new, this is the new, new section. This is only, this extension only came up. Thanks for sharing. Kinizo68, thank you. Do you live there? Yeah, I live here. So I'm going to be doing a lot of Dubai periscopes for those of you that haven't seen Dubai. Stay tuned. I'll be taking you to some really cool places that I can't wait to show you. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully you'll enjoy them. And yeah, if you guys could like share, that's all I ask. If you're enjoying a stream, only if you're enjoying it. I don't expect you to share if you're not enjoying it. But if you are enjoying my periscopes, hit the share button. I'd really appreciate that. Like, I, I'm really doing this to like show you guys the place. I've done this so many times, but I like I like showing people that haven't been here before because, yeah, maybe you'll want to come here one day, you know? Best wishes from Ukraine. Hello, were you on the radio? So I wasn't on the radio, no. <laughs> okay. Can we see residential areas? I will, I will take you to some residential areas if you want. Um, I'll have to do that. I can't do it right now because I'm at the mall. The indoor theme park. They have an indoor ski slope here, actually, which I can probably walk to. But as you can see, this stretches all the way down. Hi, Baltimore. Hi, Ed New York City. How are you? Go right from here. You'll feel awesome. <laughs> uh, all the restaurants over there. It's just, it's just absolutely massive. But they have things for everyone. They've got all the street stores, and they have all, like, like loads of different restaurants and two cinemas. But this is one of the cinemas over here. I'll show you. That's one of the cinemas. Los Angeles. Hello. Hi from Kuwait. Hi Kuwait. Nice to see you. Hi from Mississippi. Hi Mississippi. Don did Don Dita already. <laughs> they have Tim Hortons. They do. Uh, they've got pretty much everything. Everything that most American um, stores would have. Have you lived there your whole life? Coffee cup. I have lived here for uh, most of my life. So I've lived here since I was a baby, so about 20 years or so. So yeah, most of my life I've been here. The first few years of my life I lived in, in the UK. So you've got downstairs, and again, you've got shops all along the outside. You have another food court at the end. You've got cinema number one, and cinema number two is the other side. There's also a ski slope in this mall. What I'll do is I'll walk down this way so I can show you the ski slope before I head off. There's no point in asking that question. I'm in a block. Do you speak French? Um, I don't speak French, but I can say a few words. Are you Malaysian? No, I am Indian. The indoor theme park they open, I'd like to see that. Yes, they, they have um, the Bollywood theme park as well. Where are your friends? I just met up with a friend to catch up, but uh, I prefer to do periscopes on my own just because it's a bit weird if I'm on my phone and I'm with my friends, you know? Don't forget your parking. Thank you. It's going to run out soon. Okay, I'm going to walk quickly. You don't wear a hijab. No, you don't have to wear a hijab unless you want to. Um, as you can see, you've got people walking in hijabs and you have people walking without. It's totally up to you what you do. They have McDonald's. They do have a McDonald's. It's at the food court, which is that way. Are you window shopping? No, I actually came to meet a friend for coffee. Uh, one of my friends I went to school with and um, they just went home, so I decided to do a quick periscope before I leave. Any casinos? There's no casinos. Um, gambling's not really allowed here. So in that way, it's a little bit different to like Vegas. Some people compare it to Vegas. I think they just mean the atmosphere, but there is no casinos. They do have the horse races though, which I guess is gambling. Every year, it's the largest and most expensive horse races in the world. Um, so yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so before my parking runs out, I'm walking to um, the other end of the mall where they have the ski slope. Um, I know some of you guys might not have seen it before, so I'm going to show you. In and out, they don't have in and out in and out burger actually. They've only got that in California, I think. <laughs> okay, let's go to the ski slope. Yes, horse races. Yes, horse races. So most expensive in the world. They're around like March time, and it's a really, really big deal. I haven't been in a while, um, but no, it is. They've also got a really massive Apple store here, which is really popular when it opened. I don't know why, because I feel like all Apple stores are the same, but I'm going to show you the Apple store just because I feel like people are interested interested in them. I'll show you. Oh, look at this though. This is kind of cool. I use an iPhone. I love Apple. No Cinnabon. There is a Cinnabon actually. The Cinnabon, I know exactly where it is because every time you walk past, they pump out that amazing smell. Yeah, I don't know what the hype was about the Apple Store uh, because the Apple Store is just the Apple Store. When it opened, this place was so busy, it was ridiculous. So this is the Apple Store. It's quite nice though. I guess it's a nice one. Um, yeah, they have a Foot Locker. They've got a Foot Locker. Uh, they don't have FaceTime. That is um, one of the downfalls. Yeah, that's really bad. What's up with the shakes? Are they all rich? Um, I mean, there are a lot of like shakes here. They're obviously, the main one is wealthy, but he's like people have met him. Like I think my mum's met him and said he's really nice. Like just on the street, uh, I think they met him at like an event. You know, he's like a celebrity here. If you see him, like you should guys should check out Faz Three on Instagram. He's pretty popular um, on on Instagram. He's got like so many followers. But he posts some really really cool videos. My accent's from London. Thanks, RJ. Is it any shops that sell bird keys? Um, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I did four and two tours, and I'm still breathing. I'm just waiting for iPhone 7. Ah, oh, yeah, me too. I can't wait for iPhone 7. I feel like there's no point. Um, I feel like there's no point going for like the S's, like the iPhone. 5s or like the iphone 6s i think you should just go for like the 5 or the 6 or the 7 um oh my god i look so tired i need to i need to get some sleep okay before i go home and have dinner and sleep i'm going to show you this uh ski slope all right let me show you uh it's coming up okay it's still a little bit further ahead okay i'll be i'll be there really really soon thanks for sharing appreciate that thank you I always appreciate it when people invite their followers. Like it's nice. Like thank you. Can't say I can't say thank you enough. <laughs> and if you do, I'll try. I'll try shout your name out if I if I can. Sometimes it goes too fast. Okay, so we're coming up to the indoor ski slope uh, in about a minute. Should be there in about a minute. I'll show you these shops though along the side. As you can see, the whole thing. Thanks, Squibbidle Steve. <laughs> The teeth look so white. Oh, do they? Thanks. But using a Colgate whitening toothpaste, the one that comes in the red packet. I've noticed quite a difference. Thanks for showing my city. No, no worries, no worries. Okay, ski slope is coming up soon. I need to tie my hair up again. It's all coming out. Okay, hold on. A waterfall in that mall. Um, there might be. Oh no, no, you're you're talking about you're talking about Dubai Mall. They have a waterfall and they have all these men attached to it. And yeah, I know what fun you're talking about. Where's the cars? The cars, we just finished them at the beginning. Don't worry, I'm gonna have some really cool car scopes. I'm gonna try to do a really cool car scope this month. Uh, okay, the ski slope is just, is literally just here. So for those of you that are interested in seeing, really love the vlogs. Oh yeah, for those of you that don't know, I have a YouTube channel, so, Check out my YouTube channel. I've done tons of vlogs from Dubai. I'd love for you to check it out. Yeah, follow, um, what, what have you man saying? <laughs> okay, ski slope is here. You guys wanna see it? So. This is the ski slope. Can you see it in there? I'll go around this corner. 
and you can actually see can you, can you see people with their ski ski skiing gear so as you can see the ski lifts are going all the way to the top um, and you've got like this whole bit just for skiing. It's um, but there's Pokemon there. I bet you there is. Let's see if I can show you. I'm gonna walk around so you guys can see it, but it basically goes all the way to the top. Um, how much does it take? I think it's only a few hundred dirhams for like a few hours. It's maybe like 20 to 40 bucks. But the kids, like if you have kids, they can like go on a play area there. Um, they can like go down the slides, You've, they've got like a, a big ball that you can go down, it's actually really fun. Um, is that real ice? Yeah, it's real snow, real snow. I'll sh How much is Starbucks there? It depends what you get at Starbucks, but I think it's pretty much the same price as it is in America. Pretty much. There's a Starbucks right um, at the end. If I go here, you can kind of see a bit more of the slope. You can kind of see it a bit going up. Mall of the Emirates it's called. I think it's, I put it in the title. Ski Dubai. This place is called Ski Dubai. So if you, um, if you Google it, you'll be able to see it. Let me go around the corner. I'm trying to get you guys a good view of this place. Architecturally impressive. Yeah, no, it's cool. Thank you. I can't show you the whole thing, which is really annoying. I can only show you like half of it. Um, I think this is as much as we're going to get. Go here. There we go. So it goes all the way up to the top. No worries. All right, guys, I have to go because uh, my parking is running out. So I got to run. But uh, if you guys want more, uh, I'm all on social media at Literally Anika on Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, YouTube. Check out my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I guess see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Love you lots. Bye. Thanks, happy man.